online, it's it's hard to get around sometimes, basically. Um, it's hard to communicate with kids that don't realize that you are blind. Um, and when they know, they sort of don't know how to receive it. So it's, at first it is a bit hard to get through to them. Um, and because of society in general, like, you know, you talk to the kid and he finds out you're blind and he's like, oh, maybe this guy's not that smart. But, you know, it's it's not their fault. It's society. It's just how it works. Check this one. Now I don't want to be like this. I wish I was never here. Why was I ever born this way? I'm sick of living in fear. You see, I'm fed with a silver spoon. I spend my life in a steel cocoon. Why should I conform? Society should accept me. I just like helping people. So the best thing is meeting up with uh, different walks of life, I suppose, and and uh, learning how everybody goes about their day and lives life. And growing up, I, I'm a, I guess I've been through a lot. I've been on the streets and everything. I've been alone too, you know. A lot of people, including myself, have been stuck in that steel cocoon. I've been stuck in that shell. Uh, it's hard to get out of it. It's not for anyone to blame. Like God, oh, you're stuck here, and you you got to help yourself. It's a very hard decision, but once you make that decision, you can move on with your life and come out of your shell. The message is, um, you know, it's it's all right to try. It's okay. It's not a bad thing. You know, just get out there. Um, don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid of it. Aside from the social aspect, I mean that helps kids basically improve social skills, you know. Um, but it does give them something to do as well. It gives them something to build on, something to work on, uh, something that they enjoy. And it actually lets them find out what hard work is all about, you know. But when they're on that stage, they're like, please get it right, please get it right. And they just get it right. They not only get it right, but they blow everybody away. And you're like, yeah, this is cool, this is cool. <laughs> We've done something here. Um, you've made them realise what it is to achieve something. So you feel proud of them, basically. Beautiful men and women, it's time that you start living. Never mind about your religion, never mind about class division. It's time that you start living, don't you know that we're all different? Realise that something's missing and I hope this door is sticking. I hope this door is sticking. None of that sex, colour, class, division. Once they know, oh, this guy's really good, you know, or I hopefully, that's what I hope they're thinking. <laughs> um, they're like, yeah, this guy's really good, you know, and, and then they believe and they forget about the, um, Disability, so to speak, you know. Men and women, yeah, listen to me now. For every men one. and women, listen to me now. Oh, men and women, you gotta listen to me now. Get ready for this one now. I ain't to me now. 